And my last and final video of today is actually got starting a second series that we're doing. Uh, my own DIY series. Um, do it yourself, basically. Now, what I've got here is a brand new terrarium that I've just bought from Prices Plus, a pretty good local store, a bit like Crazy Clark's or the reject shop nearby. And I've already got ideas for this enclosure here, so stay with me. Um, make this, and we are, if this video gets 50, 10 views, I'm gonna make 10 views, I will put a tarantula in here. I, I will I will indeed put a tarantula in here. It will be um, probably the Flurgis Prosper because she's getting a bit big. She can make a hole in here. Um, this is probably the perfect size trip and close up for my Flurgis Prosper at the moment. So please give me, I want at least five to ten likes. Ten likes and I'll, as soon as we hit ten likes I will um, put the tarantula in here, but I, if we hit five likes, I'll consider putting it in for for a future video. At the moment, I'm just decorating this a little bit, putting this there, a bit of a hill, so that actually looks pretty good. We don't want too much in here; we just want a few things. And one I want to do with this is I actually want to stick it in here where it goes underneath where the roots will go underneath the rock and hopefully where the tarantula won't move it. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty decent enough. But come over here, we've actually got a small little fairy garden over here. Um I've still two of these. Because why not? Just just to put some decorations in. Put one here and behind here. And guys, I'm so, I really wish I did have some sand. But if you see here, we've actually got some sphagnum moss. There's still some sphagnum moss. And we'll just put it here. This will keep some humidity in, keeping the tarantulas nice and moist for, for however long it is in here. That looks like a dead gecko tail for some reason. Don't know why. I'll put some down here in case she decides to go down there. I'll just sprinkle some sphagnum moss all over the place. She's got a few places where she can dig a hole. Prefer it to be in the middle and I prefer it to hit the bottom so that we can still see her wherever she is. Sphagnum moss. There we go. But it's still missing something. And I think that's still some greens. So, I'm not a fan of putting um, jelly bean succulents in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. That's a little bit too long. Just, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to. There we go. And you can hear my Maggie's calling me now. Also, put in the comments if you want me to do a video on my magpies that I've got. And also, put a comment if I should do some more. Some more um, videos on my other channel. I'll only do more videos on the other channel if I hit 10 subscribers on there. So go, go subscribe to that. It's actually a gaming channel that I made a bit ago. What I'm doing here is I'm just adding some more texture to the to the enclosure by spreading some fern leaves around, so that stuff there. Sorry guys, I'm not sure how much of a view you're getting here. Absolutely perfect enclosure. Just look at it from this side. Look at it from up above. Look at it from the side. Looks good no matter what. So this is my first DIY. Give it a ten video, give it ten likes, and I will move a tarantula into here. But for now, it will go up on my shelf as a small enclosure that I have made. And 
give me two likes on this video and tomorrow I will literally I will release a video doing a DIY on how to make a tub or fix up a tub. And I'm good. And plus, I'll see you on the next one.